What are you doing out there? I'm carving something on this bullet, sir. What are you carving? I'm carving Baldrick, sir. <laughs> Why? It's a cunning plan, actually. Of course it is. You see, you know they say that somewhere there's a bullet with your name on it. <laughs> well, I thought if I owned the bullet with my name on it, I'd never get hit by it. Because <laughs> I won't ever shoot myself. Oh, no, shame. And the chances of there being two bullets with my name on them are very small indeed. Yes, it's not the only thing around here that's very small indeed. <laughs> Your brain, for example, is so minute, Baldrick, that if a hungry cannibal cracked your head open, there wouldn't be enough inside to cover a small water biscuit. <laughs> Tally-ho, pip-pip, and Bernard's your uncle. In English, we say good morning. <laughs> Look what I got for you, sir. What? It's the latest issue of King and Country. Oh, damn inspiring stuff. The magazine that tells the Tommies the truth about the war. Or, alternatively, the greatest work of fiction since Vows of Fidelity were included in the French marriage service. <laughs> come, come, sir. Now, you can't deny that this fine newspaper is good for the morale of the men. Certainly not. I just think that more could be achieved by giving them some real toilet paper. <laughs> not with you at all, sir. What could any patriotic chap have against this magnificent mag? Apart from his bottom? Yes. <laughs> well, look at it. I mean, the stuff's about as convincing as Dr. Crippen's defence lawyer. <laughs> the British Tommies are all portrayed as six foot six with biceps the size of Bournemouth. <laughs> Thorough, thoroughly inspiring stuff. And I look, sir, it's also just arrived for you this morning. Hmm. Do you know what this is, Lieutenant? Oh, it's a good old service revolver. Wrong. It's a brand new service revolver, which I've <laughs> suspiciously been sent without asking for it. I smell something fishy. And I'm not talking about the contents of Baldrick's Apple Crumble. 